Yeah. How are you liking that? I'm digging that. Well, it's about that time. Uh, we're going to start our weekly NFL discussion. We should come up with a good name for that. Do you have one? We're going to have to work on that. Yeah. How about, for now, it's going to be NFL this week or NFL right now. So, it's a tentative, uh, it's a tentative title. So, yeah, uh, welcome everybody. Uh, Eric Rover, Daily News here, and I am alongside NFL expert. You're very kind. Alex Mann. Alex Mann is here, and, uh, and we're going to, we're going to discuss last week's games. What we liked, what we didn't like, and uh, look ahead to next week. So, Al, it was a pretty exciting week in the National Football League, wasn't it? Well, you know what? It's the first week of NFL, so you're going to be excited anyway. But there was definitely a lot to to enjoy, some surprises. NFL's back. I love it. I guess you got to start with Peyton Manning and the way that he uh, showed up Thursday night. Now, he is old. He is old he, as, he's up there. as uh, heck. Seven touchdowns. Now, that's something that hasn't been done since the 60s. And he's a 37-year-old quarterback. Is this, obviously he's not going to throw for seven touchdowns every game, but is this something that he can keep up every week? I don't think he can. I, 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 is he going to throw for three touchdowns, four touchdowns every game? No. And you know what? I think coming in, this Baltimore defense was overrated. Uh, just because of what they've been in the past, they've lost a lot, especially with Ed Reed and... Ray Lewis, and Ray I, think, Lewis sure. I think people underestimate exactly how big of an influence they had. Mm -hmm. You know, they're great playmakers, but they're the ones telling everyone where to be on every play. And, you know, obviously it's not going to keep up, but I think that's a really bad defense they played. I don't know how great Denver's defense is either. I, I guess the AFC is kind of wide open because you look at the talent pool and it's not nearly as deep as the NFC. Um is Denver a team that can be in the AFC Championship? I, or is that too early to even talk about because it's only week one? It, well, it's definitely not too early because they do have Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. Peyton Manning's going to keep him in every game. Once Von Miller's back for that defense, though, it's going to look completely different, and they're yeah. going to be a lot more aggressive, and I think they're going to force a lot of turnovers then from that point on. Yeah. Well, I think the AFC North is pretty weak this year. And who is the best team in that division, do you think? I mean... You got Pittsburgh, Baltimore, and Cincinnati. All of them lost. All of them lost. Cleveland lost. So Cleveland lost. Well, I yeah. Cleveland's not really an NFL team. They're more of a. Cle you know. Cleveland's defense is coming along. They've got a lot of work to do on the offense. Yeah. Um, but I, I think the best team out of that division is going to be Cincinnati. Yeah. Uh, they're young, uh, but they're very talented. A bunch of high picks on that offensive side, and the defense is tough. Yeah. I think the most surprising win of the week had to be the Jets uh, because I didn't think they'd win a game all year. Uh, they are horrible, and somehow they managed to squeak by Tampa Bay. I guess my question leading into that is, uh, who do you think might end up with the number one pick at the end of the year with uh, Jadavian Clowney, the South Carolina uh, defensive beast, as the prize for that top pick? Well, I think it's going to be a close race, actually. I don't think it's going to be the Jets. Really? I think it's going to be between uh, either Oakland or Jacksonville at this point. Jacksonville is pretty horrible. Jacksonville, and they're already without their horrible starting quarterback for week two. So yeah. uh, Gabbard goes down. They've got Chad Henney, who I like, but... they got to get Tebow in there, I think. Well, they should have Tebow two years time. ago. Yeah. Tebow yeah. should have gone there instead of the Jets in the first place, and that was a career killer for Tebow right there. Yeah, I forget who said it, but I was listening uh, uh, to some NFL talk the other day. They said there's something about that 28-2 to score where it's almost better if you lose 28-0. Just about. <laughs> because Just about. your only points come from uh, mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, who impressed you this week? Uh, well, I think the Tennessee defense impressed me this week. Mm -hmm. I think that's something, uh, and I don't know if Pittsburgh offensively just wasn't ready. I don't know. What's going on there? Uh, obviously, they've got the running back issues mm -hmm. um, to the point where days before the season started, they cut, cut Jonathan Dwyer, and they have already brought him back. Yeah. Um, Pittsburgh under 200 yards of passing. It's Yeah, and I think that a lot of that is credit needs to go to Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tennessee really showed up. Uh, of course, we got to talk about the Vikings for a sec, and Adrian Peterson looks like he's going to be a beast again this year. 
but yes. that was pretty expected. Um, he did just about everything he could, and still it wasn't enough. Where, how did the Vikings turn this around offensively? Well, and, and get some more options there. The, the big number is three, the interceptions for Ponder. Yeah. Uh, you know, they had a lead they, early in the game, the first half. They were doing well. Ponder's just, you, you can't ask him to do more than just a very little. Mm-hmm. You know, anytime he's going to have to increase his load or throw more passes, you're going to be in trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, I do. I like Matt Castle. Mm-hmm. And I think if you get another multi-pick game from Ponder, he shouldn't have a very long leash. I think you'd get Castle in there and see if you can win a few games with your MVP behind that line. Yeah. Seattle is the it is a you know preseason Super Bowl favorite, a, a contender at, at the very least, and they really had a tough time with Carolina. Now Carolina is not supposed to be a very good team, and they only beat them by five. What's going on there? I mean, is this just a week one jitter kind of thing? And 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 what do you see from the big game with San Francisco next week? Well, I think in Seattle, it's it's Russell Wilson. He's yeah. just I don't, I don't know. He started he's really not, poorly. He started poorly. Yeah. Um, you know, he's the one who's got to get that offensive offense going. And right now, I think it's the same situation for Carolina as it kind of is with Tennessee. Mm-hmm. That is a really good defense. If you watch their third preseason game, they were just turning the ball over with that first unit. And I think I'm, I'm not surprised that they held Seattle to so low. Uh, the Sunday night game, the my, Cowboys. Boy, my Cowboys won. Yeah. We can talk a little more about this game here, but at first I just want to say that game and the the Philly Washington game scare me because all those teams are going to have a chance so to even. win every one of those division games. How, how do you pick apart any of those teams? You, you know, they're they're all so even. They both they all have offensive weapons. And I mean, at this point, you can't. Yeah. They all they all even with the changes in Philly with the coach and uh, a lot of turnover in the defense for them and for the Giants. Uh, you know, Washington and Dallas, they, they all, even with changes there, they all know each other so well, and they all want to beat each other so badly. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, as a Dallas fan, you know, obviously our biggest division rival is the Redskins. Mm-hmm. But for me, personally, I want to beat the Giants even more. Because they got the Super time. Bowls. They've got the recent Super Bowls, and I just hate Philadelphia in general. So, <laughs> uh, you know, so really, it's every every game, division game, and that division's going to scare me this year. I'm pretty scared by San Francisco, and uh, they looked really great in beating in beating the Packers. Unfortunately, um, they, they can do it all. They they uh, they can bottle the up defense defensively, especially with that run game. Packers were unable to move the ball at all, and uh, Kaepernick uh, is a stud. He, he's a star. They can do it all. Is there any team that can slow down San Francisco right now? Right, right I, now? I mean, I, I, we're, we're going to find out. We're, we, we're absolutely going to find out. I mean, the, the biggest test, that defense in Seattle, you think has got the best chance to slow them down. Yeah. So we got that this coming Sunday night. Uh, you know, I, I don't think any team can right now, but... I don't think any team is up to speed or as close to midseason form as San Francisco is right now. Everything's going to look different in a couple weeks. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, so looking ahead to uh, Week 2's games, what uh, stands out for you on the schedule? Week 2, well, I just mentioned that Sunday night game. Sure. That's yep. going to be the big one. That's why it's Sunday night. Uh, but San Francisco, Seattle is going to be... Uh, it's going to be a big one yeah that's going to be fun to watch let me throw out a couple uh uh, for you minnesota at chicago let's uh talking uh appease these vikings fans uh must win game for the vikings i think so you can't start it's it's a must play well game for ponder yeah um in that division yeah i don't know if if losing right now for the vikings in the second week going on two is really gonna ruin their season quite yet Mm -hmm. uh but they they're gonna they're going to be hurting if they lose to Detroit and Chicago to start it off. It's who they're losing to that's going to be the problem. Yeah. Uh, but one thing I do want to say, I, Chicago's just got to be licking their chops right now after what Reggie Bush did. Yeah. Because they've been throwing these screen passes and everything to Matt Forte for for years. I'm they, still not sold on Reggie Bush, though. I, I, I know he had a great game, but I'd like to see him have a couple more good games before I'm re- ready to give him 
credit and star status. You want to see him stay on the field. Exactly. That too. You know what? I this Matt Forte is established. Coming into this year, I've totally bought into Reggie Bush, and I don't know why. I've never liked the guy, mm -hmm. but I suppose fantasy football wise, I've totally bought into Reggie Bush, and he certainly didn't disappoint in Week One. Yeah. Okay, let's go through all these games real quick. I will uh, feed you the game, and you tell me your winner, and I'll do the same, and we'll uh, compare them for next week, okay? Let's do it. Uh, Jets at New England. i got to take the, the Patriots there. Patriots. That's an easy one. Uh, Washington at Green Bay. I'm going to take the Packers. I can't see them losing two games in a row, especially at home. They cut down the mistakes. It's going to be a walk away for the Packers, but they should win either way. Yeah, St. Louis at Atlanta. I think that's an easy one for the Falcons. I don't. I don't. I, I think Atlanta's going to win it, but mm -hmm. I really like what St. Louis is building on their offense. The, again, another young core. Believe it or not, Sam Bradford is their oldest offensive starter, mm -hmm. and he's 25 years old. Yeah. I mean, they've, they're building a really good core. They brought in that tight end, Jared Cook, who's running all over. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tough, but I like Atlanta. Okay. Carolina at Buffalo. I'm really split on this one, so I'm going to let you go first. Uh, Carolina for me. Okay. I, I've got zero faith in, in Buffalo winning. They might also be the third team in that race for the number one pick. Yeah, you know, I liked. I really admired the way Buffalo stood up to New England last week, uh, letting it go right at the end with that field goal. They're at home again, and I like E.J. Manuel. I, I, I don't think he's as bad as everyone thought he would be. Uh, I'm excited to see him take his next step, and I'm going to take Buffalo in that one. Minnesota at Chicago. Uh, I am going to take the Bears. Uh, I, I'm not believing in the Vikings right now. As, as much as Adrian Peterson likes to run all over the Bears, I'm going with Chicago. I'm going to take Miami over Indy in the upset. I like that pick too. Uh, as I just said, I think Tannehill can beat Luck, but I don't think he will beat Luck. Okay. I'm taking Indy. Dallas at Kansas City. Uh, Dallas? Yep, I, I figured you might take that. I'm going to take Dallas, too. I think they got too many weapons, even though Kansas City has a decent defense. Cleveland at Baltimore, the Art Shell Bowl. Uh, the Art Mo the Art Model Bowl. Art Model. Excuse me. There you go. The, the Model Bowl. Uh, it, it's going to be Baltimore for me. Flacco's just, I, like I said, I don't have a lot of faith in that defense right now. Flacco's... Better than anything they have on the offensive side in Cleveland. Yeah, but I would like to see uh, Richardson get a couple touchdowns for the fantasy team. I bet you would. Tennessee at Houston. I'm going to take Houston. There. Houston. Yep. Yeah. San Diego at Philly. I'm going to take uh, Philly, especially after uh, San Diego's laughable meltdown. Yeah, it's going to be Philadelphia. That, that offense is going to be, it, with the way Houston came back on that San Diego defense, mm -hmm. uh, Philly's going to run all over them. Elite wide receiver matchup here, Detroit at Arizona. Yeah, how about Larry Fitzgerald and the little renaissance he's having? Yeah. Uh, I like Arizona at home. Okay, I'm going to take Arizona too because I really like their defense. I like the Honey Badger. He's already making plays. Uh, New Orleans at Tampa. I am going to take Tampa at home, even though the Saints can put up points. Yeah, I really like Tampa coming into the year. They really disappointed me last week with the Jets debacle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm going to take the Saints. Okay. Jacksonville at Oakland, probably the worst game of the week by far. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take Oakland at home because they're frankly at home. That's the only reason they win. Yeah, the good thing about this game for both teams is somebody is going to get one step closer to getting that number one pick by losing. Yeah, I'm going to go Oakland in this one, I think. Terrell Pryor is going to win this by himself. I like Pryor. I do, too. I think he he's... can run. He's showing a lot of emotion. Uh, he, he was shedding some tears after the game. I like him. He's got some heart. So And, and his teammates are going to buy into that. Yeah. And, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to see him have some success. I like him. Uh, Manning Bowl. Denver at New York Giants. I will take Denver because I think their uh, their passing offense is hard to stop right now. Yeah, i, I got to go Denver on that. I Yeah, I don't think even... The Giants, their defense is a mess right now. They don't have a chance. Here's the big one. San Francisco at Seattle. N neither of us want to go first. <laughs> you, you know what? I, the thing about it is it's, it, yeah, it's San Francisco at Seattle. It's going to be a hard-fought game. But you look at what San Francisco did this last week, and you think they should win fairly easily. I don't think so. Yeah. I think at Seattle, it's tough. Seattle was it's undefeated toughest, at home last year. It's the year. toughest place to play for anybody to go into. Yeah. Since 2009, Marshawn Lynch has three rushing games of 100 yards or more against San Francisco. Mm -hmm. The rest of the league has two. 
Yeah. I think if they get Marshawn going early, Seattle can, uh, you know, do what they can to keep Kaepernick off. Are you the field. taking Seattle here? I'm gonna take Seattle in a close one. Okay. I'm I'm gonna take San Francisco because I was so impressed with the way that they dismantled Green Bay. I don't think anyone can stop them. Uh, last one, Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. Pittsburgh at Cincinnati. I got Cincinnati. Like I said, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a rough night for Ben Roethlisberger. I'm not impressed with the Steelers at all. I don't think they can do much anything. I think Cincinnati is going to win this by a couple touchdowns. Okay, man. I think that's going to do it for this week. Al, thanks for coming by. You got it. Let's do it again soon.